Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2025. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to maintain the stroke width so the stroke does not get distorted when you are scaling shape layers. And I'll show you how to do this on the three different shape layer types, which are parametric, bezier, and roto bezier. Parametric shapes are created using any one of the shape tools and making sure that the bezier path box is unchecked. And you can always tell when you have a parametric shape when you twirl open the shape layer, the contents under the path, you will see these adjustable parameters. So parameters, parametric, these parameters are not available in bezier and roto beziers. You'll only see a path. So if you've ever tried scaling or transforming a parametric shape using the transform properties. And if I click the link to unconstrain the proportions and scale in either direction, you'll see that the stroke is not maintaining its width. Instead of using the transform properties for the shape, you are going to use the adjustable parameters. So for the rectangle tool, that is going to be the size property. As I change the size property in any direction, the stroke is not getting distorted and it's maintaining the stroke width. Pretty cool. And now we'll look at Bezier shapes, which do not have those adjustable parameters like the parametric did. They only have points on a path. You create Bezier shapes, either using the shape tool and checking the box Bezier path or using the pen tool. I'll twirl open the transform properties for this Bezier shape layer, go to the scale property. I'll click the link to unconstrain the proportions. And you'll see here as I scale or transform this Bezier shape, we've got that same issue where the stroke is not maintaining its width. The solution is to move the stroke below the transform properties of the shape group. To do that, just select stroke now you're unable to drag it below. You see it will not allow you to drag it below. So what you do with the stroke group selected, you just drag it right on the word contents. And now it's below the transform properties. And you may have noticed the stroke got a little smaller. If that happens to you, twirl open stroke. And here's the fix right here where it says composite, change it from below to above. And now you'll see it's back to that original stroke width. And now when I go to the transform properties for the shape and I go to the scale, I can move it in any direction and you'll see the stroke is maintaining its width. So Roto Bezier paths are similar to Bezier paths, only Roto Bezier paths automatically create the curves and you typically create them using the pen tool, just checking the box Roto Bezier. If I go to the transform properties, uncheck the proportions, you see, as I'm transforming this Roto Bezier shape, I'm getting that issue with the stroke. I'll undo the fix. You're gonna drag the stroke below the transform for that shape group. To do so, I'll select stroke, drag it to contents, let go. You see the stroke got a little smaller, so I'll twirl open stroke, go to composite, move the stroke above. Now we're back to the original. And when I go to the transform, I can now scale it or transform it and the stroke is maintaining its width. A top secret tip. If you're in a hurry and you want to quickly free transform or scale a roto bezier or a bezier shape, but you don't want to have to go through the process of moving the stroke out of that group, all you have to do is select the path. You'll see the points around the path, double click on any one of the points. That's going to create a bounding box around the shape. Now you can just free transform that bounding box and you'll see the stroke is maintaining its width. As I'm moving the bounding box, it is not affecting your transform property values. And finally, going back to the parametric shape, you will also find the size parameter in the properties panel. So if you wanna be able to adjust or scale your shapes and maintain the stroke width, you can do so from the properties panel. And that is how to maintain the stroke width when you are scaling the different types of shape layers in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.